before I head back up, I thought I'd take a minute and talk about the people that originally inhabited these lands in North America, Central America, and South America, and where they came from. So originally, you always hear about and read in the textbooks, they came over from the Bering, across the Bering Straits, the frozen land bridge of Beringia, when it was frozen during the Ice Age. Um, and it was about 900 miles wide. So they actually could have been living on there as far back as around 20 or 25,000 years ago. And then whenever the Ice Age started, when ice started melting, um, at least around 14,000 years ago, then they start moving inland. And so that's when they started finding, well, now they start finding uh, sites and, and points and all this stuff. But I think that also what happened was there was these people called the Salutrians that came over from Europe. And that's the ones that you don't hear about much. There was a, there was a group of people called the Salutrians in uh, France and Portugal and Spain. And their culture was from like 25,000 years ago to around 15,000 years ago. And what's interesting about that is they find points made very similar to the ones that we find here now. And scientists have went, finally when they were able to go over into, um, over into Siberia, they haven't been able to find anything similar. Uh, the only thing they're finding as far as projectile points was uh, pieces of bone that those natives had taken and put in little pieces, um, I guess they were rock, in, into the little indentions that they made in a bone. So it looked like a spear with, with little pieces uh, placed in the sides, you know, that would go in to an animal and then uh, wouldn't pull back out. But the Salutrian people had the technology of the actual arrow and like the Clovis point. And so when they started finding these Clovis points, sometimes it, did, it didn't match up to the exact years of when the original people that they thought came over had been in these places. So the theory about the Salutrians is they came over during the ice age when most of the Atlantic Ocean was frozen over. You know, the, during the Ice Age, there were some places that had ice as thick as a mile deep. And so you figure if those people were getting hungry, their, their actual sources of food, which was the what they call the buffalo, which I call the bison. I'm not sure how why they're called buffalo, but um, maybe somebody can comment below and explain that one to me. But there's mosquitoes out here. And... Um, so anyway, their food source was getting depleted, so I believe they started moving west and across their ice sheets until um, finally they were able to either get on their boats and cross the rest of the water, because that's the other thing about these people were um, they had boats, which a lot of people back then did too, but you don't hear a whole lot about that. But uh, And also, I believe they've been finding... Uh, well, they find a lot of bones that were used with, with the holes in them that were used for needles and stuff, which shows that people were making clothes back then, of course, because they had to stay warm during the Ice Age and, and just after. And there was some period in there, too, where for another thousand years, you know, it got warm, and then for another thousand years, it was, it was back to ice again. But, you know, coincidentally, the Salutrians apparently died out or moved on 15,000 years ago and we've found artifacts here in North America it's in the eastern seaboard as far back as 14,000 years you know that may have changed by now or I could be wrong about that time range but I know that there's a site in Virginia that was over 14,000 years old artifacts so anyway the Salutrians that's something interesting to look at if you want to do a search on that and um it's uh, very interesting about their culture and how similar they were to our native people here. So let's just say the Salutrians came over and then they mixed in with the culture of the East Asians and Polynesian people, um, 
or uh, I don't remember exactly where else they came from, but uh, there were a mix of people from over in that Bering Straits, Bering Gia area. Um, but let's say they mix with those people. That would definitely be a, a explain a lot of the the different um, the different looks that the Native Americans have. You know, as far as their bone structures and uh, skin color and that type of stuff. So anyway, I think I'm going to wrap it up for the morning. And um, y'all have a good day. See you next time.